Hey guys, Luxury Torture, and today I'll be talking about, uh, I'll be talking about a prediction. I'll do a prediction for a Beyblade Burst Sparking Launcher for Hasbro. So basically, I'm just going to be talking about the what Hasbro can do for an idea. I'm just going to give them idea, an idea for what they could do for the Sparking Launcher. So as you know, Sparking the Sparking Launcher is pretty um, self-explanatory. It can launch. You launch it, and there's going to be sparks coming out from a um, a window, out of a win uh, out of a glass, and like, it's pretty cool. It's really it's really it has been really blowing up um, ever since it came to Japan. I think it has gone crazy in sales, but because uh, on Amazon it's like twenty, it ranges up to like twenty five dollars, and the original price is like nine dollars, and that's insane. A lot of people are buying it. So I'll make a prediction on Beyblade Burst Sparking launcher so basically what i thought is that when I, last night i thought that what Calgo could do for baby labors for the baby labors sparking and i had a great idea when i was when i was like thinking in my bed and i thought i thought why can't instead of making sparks why can't they just replace the sparks and put light obviously they can um it will not come internet. It will not be an international release, but, but they, it could be an electric, um, sparks. It will be a. It could be a battery powered sparking launch. Um, sparking launcher. I don't think you could call it a sparking launcher anymore. I think, instead of sparking launcher, I would be calling it the rip fire launcher instead because. Get, okay. So like there is rip fire right, and when you launch it, it makes light right and uh it circles around the stadium and it's a pretty cool to effect when you're in the dark and what if they can make and they can make a sparking no a uh, rip fire launcher a string either if they can make a string launcher or a rip cord launcher i think they would be i think the most obvious choice is that they can make a rip fire launcher i mean um a rip cord launcher because a lot of there is a lot of rip core launchers out there and like look so like look Hasbro is not really I th I don't think Hasbro is a really good at making um I don't think he's really good at making string launchers the LR string launcher dual threat um Hasbro dual threat string launcher was pretty good but the main problem is that it keeps breaking it every every single time. People buy it, and the same result happens. It keeps breaking. Tecrotomy obviously doesn't have that problem because they're more experienced with the launchers. But I think Hasbro. I don't think Hasbro will do a sparking launcher, and it'll be even more breaking. It'll even break even more because like they'll implement the lighting system, they'll Im implement the lights and the string, and um, I don't think that'll be. There's gonna be like two gimmicks to the launcher. There's gonna be string and uh, lights. And I don't think that would be a good idea because it'll break too much. So I think they could do make a ripcord launcher because I think the ripcord, I think the especially turbo and and uh, tur Baby Libra's turbo and Baby Libra's rise have been the most successful, uh, the best la ripcord launchers in Beyblade Burst Hasbro because ha um because usually the switch track launcher breaks broke a lot like it it has absolutely no durability it's really bad in my opinion because it's 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 white no it's that's, that seems a bit racist but it, it's um like it it breaks a lot like it usually usually the thing usually the um spinning part the black spinning part just gets out and that's basically and basically that that ruins everything you can't even use it anymore so basically this tur turbo launcher and the rise launcher are the best launchers and i think by now hasbro are pretty experienced for making um ripcord launchers so i would think that hasbro can make a light up ripcord launcher for rip fire so here's the idea so basically you have a launcher a green a whatever color launcher a ripcord launcher and you just you know, do you remember the shark um, riptide set with Fornius, with which which had the power gauge? Yeah, kind of like that. They would implement a power gauge, but then instead of being a power gauge, it would be just be lights coming out of it. 
I don't remember if it was big or small, but it would be like fill up half of the launcher. Like it will fill up half the gauge, the um thing where light come out comes out will fill up half the launcher. You know, do you know the sparking um? You know how this, there's like a thing that the sparks come out, right? You launch it and there's like, you spin, the thing spins and then it creates sparks, right? And uh, for the rip ti rip ti rip cord launcher, you, you just pull it and there's gonna be like lights coming out. I don't know how they're gonna implement this, but I don't know. Uh, it's just an idea that I've been, that I had in my mind for a pretty long time. Wait, I didn't think I didn't think I thought about that yesterday. I th I think I thought about that like two weeks ago. Yeah, I thought about that two weeks ago, not yesterday. And um, that's just a little idea I had in mind and for Hasbro. Instead of making a um a string a string sparking launcher, they would just make a rip cord um uh rip fire launcher where lights come out when you launch it. So basically, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.